Hello everybody, Jake Raby here, Air Cool Technology. Want to go over a couple things about Mr. Collier's 356SC engine. So this is a 1.9 liter. It's actually one of the smaller 356 engines that we build. Made 154 horsepower with a set of 45 millimeter Lordo carbs and open exhaust. Put the Solex 44P11s on it, lost some power. Put the full exhaust on it, lost some power. It's making just about 140 with full air filters, the Solexes, and the dual mufflers from CSP all attached just the way it will go into his 65 Porsche 356 SC that lives at the Revs Institute in Naples, Florida, of course, as part of the Collier Collection. So one of the last things that we do after a dyno session, now a dyno session here isn't an hour or two. This engine has 14 hours of runtime on it between the initial break-in, the intermediate break-in, the power poles, and then the final tuning with all the ancillaries and everything on it just the way it will live in the car. That is 14 hours this engine has ran. We put about 12 gallons of fuel through it during that period of time. And of the 14 hours, it spent probably only about 35, 40 minutes maybe at wide open throttle during that period of time. The rest of it's been mimicking cruise speeds, getting loads on the engine, uh, doing all the things that I do when I do the first initial break-in, uh, running it with no load, all that sort of thing. So the last thing that we do is a leak down and a compression check. I've already completed the compression check. We had just about 150 pounds of compression all the way around the engine at max. On our first beat, we had about 70 PSI. By three beats, we were up about 135, and then we were just about 150 at maximum, which is exactly what I'd be looking for with an engine like this one with a compression ratio that I've chosen and the camshaft that it uses. So now the last thing we're going to do is a leak down check. Now I've already done cylinders one, two, and three, and I'm on cylinder four. All the cylinders have performed exactly the same, and I'm going to show you just exactly how tight this engine is sealed up. Now, a lot of people don't do this. They just think that since it still ran okay, it still ran good, and it made good power, the compression and leak down numbers are good. Well, here, I assume nothing, and I quantify everything. So Mr. Collier always wants to know exactly what the engine is like health-wise. I'm going to put this in my engine logbook that he'll get along with the engine. So we've got the crankshaft locked here. This is a total seal leak down tester. I'm going to adjust it now up to about 100 PSI, right at about 100 PSI. So we got a one-to-one -one reading. I want to thank the fine folks at Total Seal for building a really awesome Total, total Seal leak down checker. And what you see here at 100 PSI is 0% leak down. Zero after 14 hours of runtime, and this engine is hot. Uh, the cylinder heads are still at about 200 degrees after I've run and done all the other cylinders. So 0% leak down, we'll correct it right there, 0% as you see, and it's sealed up nice and tight. So I'll be delivering this engine down to the Revs Institute next week. It'll go in Mr. Collier's car. He's going to use this for a touring car. It was one of the first cars in the Collier collection, and he's had it a long, long time since the car was new. So thanks, everybody, for joining in here on this Air Cool Technology Minute. Just wanted to show you a little bit about what goes into one of my engines.